It's a five point harness that secures at the top. Yep, it'll work on a larger one too. I'm gonna warn you right now, this is gonna look like a mess. So here's the example on a smaller watermelon. Yep, it'll work on a larger one too, but for this demonstration, we're gonna use a small one because it fits in the camera lens better. It's a five point harness that secures at the top, and then these two ends is what you use to tie down into your truck bed. So here's the foundation to this harness. I'm gonna take a bite of my rope, and then I'm gonna take the working end, and give it a twist, and then I'm gonna take this and put it right on top. There we go. And I'm just gonna pull this tight. And that gives me a slip knot, which will be used for the entire harness. So here's our watermelon. We are gonna start by taking our circumference times two. And this is where we're gonna start our harness. All right, so here I'm gonna take a bite that is just as long as half of the circumference of the watermelon. And then I'm gonna take my rope, my working side, give it a twist, and then throw that twist right on top, pull this bite through, and I'm gonna create a slip knot. Okay. Then I'm gonna give myself three fingers of distance. I'm gonna pull in another bite, which is the same length as my first. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Twist, throw it over the top, make another slip knot. Okay, I'm gonna do that three more times. Oops, got caught up here. All right, so now I have five loops, five slip knots I'm making loops. And what I'm going to do is pass each bite through the other. I'm gonna start by taking my hand, passing it through, going over the top of the loop to the left, grabbing that bite and pulling it through. Same thing again, pass through the bite, go over to the one on the left, pull it through, pull it through, pull it through, there we go. Now let's get this adjusted so you can see what I'm looking at. There we go. Here's our harness. This watermelon is going to sit right here. I'm going to pull this end up and then this bite to close the pattern should be able to go through this one right here. But this isn't an open loop. So to make it an open loop, I'm going to simply free it from this overhand knot on this side. And then I'm going to pass it around this bite and then thread it back through where it came from. So let's pass this right here. I'm gonna warn you right now, this is gonna look like a mess. So let's pull this out. Pass it around this bite. There we go. And now we're gonna thread it back through and then back home to the original square knot. Or not square knot, but overhand knot. There we go. Okay. Now when I turn this up, you should be able to see the pentagon formation up top. There we go, looking good. I'm gonna flip this back over. And now I have my free end here. This free end is gonna close up this bag, but I get out of the frame. It's gonna close up this bag by passing through each one of these bites. See how these bites can be split open? Well, I'm gonna split those bites open and put or thread this free end all the way through. So here we go, there we go. That's closed up there. Let's pass this through. Now what I'm effectively doing is creating like a cinching bag. And I like to pass it through the one that I started with. There we go. Now this has to be worked through to tighten everything up.
Okay, I'm gonna do my final tightening here. There we go. And on this side, I need to adjust my pentagon formation so that if I were to split this watermelon in half from right here to right here, I want my pentagon to fall where my thumb is at. Okay. Now for this one, I'm simply gonna pull it tight. There we go. And I'm gonna run it through and lock it off. Just any one of these knots up top here. And I'm locking it off by just running it back through itself. There we go. Okay. So there is our harness for our watermelon. These are the ends that we would connect to our anchor points, holding our watermelon in place. And of course, this would work with any round object. But if I were gonna tie this down, I would take this working end, the long end of the rope, and I'd pass it through here. There we go. Okay. So now we have a loop on this side, we have a loop over here. I would attach this to an anchor point. On this side, I would do my automatic trucker's hitch, and everything would be secure from these two ends. All right, let's take this thing apart. Okay, let's unlock the bag here. All right, now let's uncinch it. Okay, now we're back to that square knot that I opened up, or that overhand knot that I opened up to accept the bite. I'm gonna release that. Okay, and now, I can take my watermelon safely out. When it's time to undo the harness, I'm simply gonna pull all the bites free from one another and then just pull everything out. So over here I just tied into one anchor point. I have my watermelon suspended over here and then I have my automatic trucker's hitch pulling everything tight with my next anchor point.